your head's inevitably gonna fall forward because there's too much mass going this way and you're trying to stay in balance. I have to get it more vertical in my backswing. What is up, everybody? Shoot another video for you on the snow day. You might have seen the one before where I had the snow day video. Guess what? Same day, still snowing. A lot of guys change outfits, do all that crazy stuff. I'm sorry. If I get time, I'm gonna show you guys a couple videos. I'm gonna do it. And if I don't change outfits because I'm not cool like the other guys, I apologize. I'm your, you know, your Tennessee pro. What can I do? It is what it is, right? So, see this me waving this sucker around. This is Mr. Foamy. Everybody say hi. Mr. Foamy is a heavyweight undefeated champ of moving golf swings, but he's also a great visual representation of how we move a golf club around our body. So I wanted to bring this out today because I've, I, I know. A lot of people out there, I think if your arms are coming down and the club's coming down through your shoulder, you're over the top, I want to disprove why today. There are a lot of golfers who swing a way vertical arm, i.e. go look at Justin Thomas, but still hit nice baby draws and don't hit slices, right? Well, how can that be? I'm about to show you. So before I do that, you guys subscribe to the channel. You know you owe me that. Tell your friends about it. Comment below. You know, some ideas for me to shoot videos for you guys as we head into 2021. Hopefully, you played a lot of golf in 2020, and now you got the bug. You want to break 90, you want to break 80. If you haven't done so, make sure you check out the Breaking 90 series with old Andrew, and then the Breaking 85 series with T-Rev, who is my man that does my editing videos. So, enough talk. Let's get in there. Let's get after it. I'm going to show you how foamy shows you how the golf swing really moves. What's up, gang? Foamy, orange noodle, here to show you some stuff about a golf swing, right? So here's the deal. People associate players, they're coming down through their shoulder plane as people who are coming over the top. That is not accurate. I'm going to tell you why, right? The golf club, right, is constantly changing around what's going on in the downswing. It's not on a one plane. doesn't exist. Bryson DeChambeau is probably the closest to having a one plane swing, but even he's not on it, right? Because there's too many moving facets. But here's the truth. We can plane the golf club. I use, my, my mentor, Virgil Herring, kind of talked to it about it as an ice cream cone of success. From the base of your neck to the ball, and from the top of your butt to the ball, right? And this little window is where we want to have the golf club traveling through. But depending on how you're built with your wingspan versus your height tells you what do you need to do in that cone, right? So you might have seen my video. See, it's probably going to be over here. Check it out. It is how to find your plane versus your wingspan versus your height. Go watch that, come back. Once you've watched that, you're back. And here you are. So, here's the deal. What happens is when you plane it, your wingspan is longer than your height, it's gonna be more vertical. If your wingspan is shorter than your height, it's gonna be lower. It doesn't necessarily have to have to, but it's a really good idea to be in those cones. It's gonna make you a little more effective, a little bit better, at getting the strike you want to see on the ball. Now, here's why a guy that's plating it through his shoulder or upper bicep is not over the top. Foamy is also a great representation of the golf swing. If you couldn't tell, he kind of sits curved because I do this demonstration a lot. Okay, so you got your arc that you're traveling around. Okay, here's the thing. That arc can be flatter or vertical but notice how it's not affecting the left and the right. So just because it's more vertical does not mean I'm making it go left. Okay, am I blowing your mind yet? Okay, maybe not. So there are, don't get me wrong, there are people that take the golf swing, go like this, and then they go like that, and they're swimming, I call it like swimming the plane, right? Because it kind of looks like I'm moving my arms to swim the golf club around, okay? Show over here, so my little like, you know, Michael Phelps swimming stroke, right? So, we're not turning it, what we're doing is we're tilting it, and we're moving it this way, okay? Now, 
like I was kind of mentioning before, JT plays from a much very vertical arm plane. His left arm is like straight up on top of that golf ball when he makes a backswing. Okay. But yet he doesn't hit wild banana slices. Jeez, I wonder why. I don't know. Interesting, right? So it's because he's not turning it this way when he goes from the top. He doesn't go up and then go whew, chopping wood, right? He's got it tilted where, the, where he wants. Now, some things to consider when you do that if you're not in the right places in the right plane, right? So if I get too vertical with my swing plane and I go up higher than I need to be, I'll tend to crash down on the ball. In interaction with the turf will be very sharp, usually leads to toe divots, and you know, less than desirable ball flight, right? Probably some loss of distance, yada, yada, yada. Okay? Here's the other thing. My arms are too low. If I try and wrap them behind me because my pro told me I gotta get my arms deep and they're too low, I'll probably start to throw the club out. I'll probably start humping as well too, right? <clears throat> so you get back here, start humping into the ball, arms go out, two thin, healy, shanky, slicey shots for that very reason, right? I've had a lot of golfers who have a longer wingspan than their height and have jacked up postures because their arms are too deep and they can't stay balanced. And so what I mean by that is, is if your wingspan is longer than your height and you go back here, your head's inevitably going to fall forward because there's too much mass going this way and you're trying to stay in balance. And so if you are a long armed individual and you're getting told to put your arms way deep behind you, cut it out. Stop. Breaks. Time out. Come see me. I'll tell you how to do it right. But here's the quick tip. The quick tip is get your arms to go more vertical, right? It's a very simple test to see if your wingspan is longer than your height. Pretty, pretty much math, right? Is this greater than this? In my case, it's one inch, right? <clears throat> I would have had a great NBA career if I had grown like seven more inches. But here's the thing, right? We have to make sure we create the right matchups. So again, if your wingspan is longer than your height, it should be more vertical going up and more vertical coming down. And you're going to like, my plane is kind of where I parked it right now at the top end of my bicep, right? Kind of in here. If I'm tugging it around my butt cheek, right? And I'm hitting the top of my butt cheek as I come into the ball. I hit some wild stuff, big sweeping hooks, less than desirable spin out fans out to right field, Andrew Radford style. Okay. I have to get it more vertical in my backswing and not like crazy, just more than the average bear. So let's take a look. So again, I'm going to feel a little bit higher in my backswing and see how it pans out. Hit hard. Ooh, but not bad though. Okay. Pretty good for a little eight iron from old pro. Okay. So finding that right plane, doesn't equal over the top. So here's where foamy can come in and help train you. Okay. This cost me $2 at, well, let's see here. What does it say? Actually $1 at dollar general, right? Love me some dollar general live one mile from a dollar general. Okay. You take that, you can put an alignment stick, which please don't buy tour sticks, go to Lowe's or home Depot. They're $2 in the sign marker department. I probably just hosed a bunch of people from charging you $10 for a tour stick. Just don't do that. You know, I stick in the ground and what we're going to try and do is when we stick that noodle in the ground, okay, if we need to go more vertical, you're going to go a club head in, club length back, sticker in the ground and get it to be on that plane that we need. Okay. So this is kind of more of my shoulder. This is kind of more my hip. It's going to vary, right? So be careful when you put it in the ground with us so we don't get in the wrong plane. I think you're going to stay above it. If you need to get lower, Go out a club head, back that same club length, same story, get on the plane, stay under. And it's a very simple way to kind of get your plane in check. But then again, it holds no bearing on the left and right. So I hope this helped clear up a little bit of over top, wingspan versus height stuff. So that way you guys can get on that better ball striking train. If you liked the video, comment below, ring the bell, subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. And let me know what you guys think. And I would love to keep helping you guys out in 2021. Go out there and enjoy a great golf day. Hopefully it's not snowing where you're at. And we'll see you next time. Sweet.